<laughs> ah, <laughs> that's some good booze. Tastes even better on a day like this. Excuse me, are you the famous spearman Ryufan? I heard talk of your exploits in town. Well, if the likes of you have heard of me, then I suppose I must be famous. I am currently seeking stalwart companions. Can I interest you in joining the Alliance? <laughs> you wish to be companions, lad? I don't suffer fools who are weaker than I. If you wish to face me and find out if that includes your sorry self, well... Ah, normally I'd give you a thrashing, lad, but I'd hate to see you trip and twist a finger or something. Come back when you're less of a weedy runt. Normally, I'd give you a thrashing laugh. Guests, is it? How unusual. I remember you from the conference earlier. Please, come in, come in. I see, I see. You seek some method of swaying His Majesty. But why would you bring this matter to me? Because you were the one who stood up to Harlan at the conference. Ah, uh, yep. You were all like, but riddle me this, jerk. And then everyone got distracted and nothing was settled. <laughs> yes, I suppose I did do something along those lines. I admit to being less than thrilled with the prospect of giving Lord Harlan free reign to transform our relationship with the Empire. Agreed. We cannot permit Dukes Aldrich to have his way on this. Lord Harlan has been advocating for cuts to the studium. Should he gain too much power, I might find it hard to continue living in the comfort to which I've become accustomed. Don't say. Noah, are you even listening here? This guy's just in it for himself! Correct. Not that merely whittling away Lord Harlan's power will change much in the long run. Your name is Noah, yes? Well, there may be a way to change things if a person was so inclined. Countess, did you know Lord Harlan purchased an old manor on the outskirts of town last year from another member of the Chamber of Lords? He's apparently so fond of it that he made it his primary residence. Well, bully for him. What of it?
I hear the manor has recently seen quite the stream of unfamiliar faces hailing from foreign lands. I wonder if some might be messengers from the Empire. At the same time, security around the manor has been tightened to the extent that actual Eucrisians are rarely allowed inside. So, uh, this matters why? He's implying that Lord Harlan bought a manor on the outskirts of town in order to meet secretly with foreign agents. That's fishy, all right. And one more thing. On the southeast side of Haishan, you'll find an old part of the city known as Lost Town, which was flooded out long ago. While Harlan's house of mystery may be under tight guard, one could easily slip in by way of Lost Town, were they so inclined. know all that Oh, I've been poking around for holes in the man's armor for some time now. This guy is incorrigible. So you're suggesting we sneak into Harlan's manor and search for evidence linking him to the Empire? I'm suggesting that if one were to find such evidence, it could be a breakthrough in terms of the pending alliance negotiations. While I am not fond of proposing tenuous plans, sometimes needs must. Tenuous certainly beats sitting on a sofa and doing nothing. Be aware that Lost Town is said to be infested with monsters. Anyone heading there should take all necessary precautions. We'll be careful. Thanks. Lost Town is on the southeast side of the city, yes? Uh, yup! Now let's go dig up some dirt on Harlan! Yeah, let's see how noble he feels when we're done with him. I think you might be...
might be losing sight of our objective here. This must be Lost Town. Lost is putting it mildly. The heck happened here? There was a terrible disaster years and years ago. It was long before my time, so I don't know the details. So, if we make our way through this place, we'll be able to sneak into Harlan's Manor? Uh, yep. Or that's what Professor Smarty Pants said, at least. Challenge accepted. Okie dokie. Ah! 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 Evil must fall! A 
Well, now what? I don't see a way forward. Easily slip in my foot. The good scholar needs to get his facts straight. There's really no way through? We've got to figure something out here. I'm thinking of we need to look for outside help here, guys. We can't do this on our own. We need outside help. <laughs> Fight bravely. Challenge accepted. Okie doke. Can you not think of anyone who might aid us? By the rune's guiding light, Magical Girl Malore is coming to get ya!
See you soon. Yes, a fight! Wait a sec. Remember what happened right after we got to the city? Uh, we can't do this. Can you not think of anyone who might aid? I just hate resorting to violence. What you get? Excuse me, sir, but we went to Lost Town and found the way blocked. Oh. Apologies, Countess, but you know how it is. You have a place investigated, said place changes. Uh, truly a bother. You'll be wanting a solution, I suppose. Preferably one that doesn't draw too much attention. Uh, there must be someone who can help you. Yes, but who?
it! I know you saw me mess that one up! I wasn't really looking. Yes, you were! Don't lie! You saw my other blunders, too! It's okay. I haven't sold anyone. Good. Because I was prepared to teleport you to the nether regions of the world if you had. Huh? <clears throat> well, you've seen what you've seen, and there's no taking it back. Therefore... I must keep you under surveillance and ensure the secret is kept. Surveillance? That's right. And know this. No matter what corner of the world you run to, I will find you. There is no escape from Carrie. begins now. You will rue having caught me in a moment of sub-perfection. Of course, you can still call on me at any time to demonstrate my flawless teleportation abilities. You do have a... what's it called? A map, yes? Just open your map, point to a destination, and I'll take you there in one perfect blink. Oh, and you should hold on to this. If I'm not around, this ring will achieve more or less the same thing. Don't misplace it. Now I'll be able to keep an eye on him. Teleportation, huh? I wonder if it would help us cross that place we got stuck. Good, the trees won't fell themselves. The ruins guiding light? Magical from the floor is coming to get ya! The 
it doesn't even count as exercise. I like it. able to get past this on our own. I guess we'll need to bring along someone who can help. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to get past this on our own. I guess we'll need to bring along someone who can help. my rune lens power to help you cross this, yes? Uh, yep, just pursue us across like champs. Can you do it? Of course I can. I am perfection incarnate. Great. Distance, nominal. Direction, nominal. Landing point? Well, I can't see it, but let's assume it's nominal. Oh, Carrie, you are a paragon. Yeah, but are you, like, a thousand percent sure here? Because the last time didn't go so hot. I have...
I've never made a single mistake in my entire existence, for I am perfect. Is that clear? Yes, uh, ma'am. Fear not. I have a perfect mental picture of where we'll land. So? But he just said he can see. Okay, I'll be quiet. Now gather around and stay close. Despite my inability to err, I can't have you causing problems. You've got this, Carrie. I should probably mention that one blunder will cast us irretrievably into the space between dimensions. But fortunately, that is not going to happen. Huh? Uh, one moment. Could we just... Giant lizards? What was that? A blunder. That's... That's not true. It was just the scenic route. Right. Well, thanks for that. Sullying my blade. Challenge accepted. 
Do this. Resorting to violence. Huh. 
Now what do you make of that? I think it's coming this way! It doesn't seem to be hostile. Oh, <laughs> it's actually kind of cute. Thank <laughs> you. 
By the rune's guiding light, magical girl Malore is coming to get ya! Remember, Carrie? Perfection. you get <laughs> thank you thank you you can reward me with a rice gratin extra prize Everybody, look there. Yes, exactly. The former king's idiot son is utterly incapable of making up his mind. But I assure you, I will make him consent to this. Considering the debt his family owes me, he is in no position to refuse. Hmm. Very well. Just keep a level head, Lord Counselor. You still have time. Focus on making steady progress. I shall. Uh, and, if I may, has word of my efforts reached Duke Zaldrick? Oh, yes. And he rewards his capable allies most handsomely. That I promise you. 
<laughs> Music to my ears. And yet you demanded a contract written in the Dukes' own hand. Not the most trusting of men, are you? Hmm. Is something the matter? <laughs> Nothing of import. The Dukes is pleased with your work thus far. Just see that you make steady progress. I will not fail you. Farewell for now, Lord Counselor. The conniving vixen. Who does she think she is? Still, if I play my cards right, my dream of sitting the Eucrisian throne may yet come true. <laughs> it's her! I knew it! The woman in the mask? Who is she? We saw her at the Rune Barrows working with an Imperial spy. Interesting, but not as interesting as the story we just heard. In all his distrustfulness, Harlan has finally done something to serve his country. Yep. Let's go find that contract she talked about. Here it is. It appears legitimate. So we just take this and hustle our buns out of here? Yeah, that scholar guy wouldn't know what to do with it. Can be no mistake. This is a contract drafted by Dukes Aldrich. It's written in the same hand as his letter to King Yuma. Then we have proof of Harlan's betrayal. We do indeed. So now Eucris is gonna fight the Empire, right? Right, guys? Will it, though? I think we may require one more push to help our king find his resolve. What kind of push are we talking here? If I may, Commander Noah, I have a little job for you. Very well. I shall head to the palace straight away and sow the necessary seeds. Gotta be honest, I'm not sure what to make of this plan. Melleridge clearly has something in mind. Are you feeling confident about those acting chops, Noah? Uh, m maybe? You can do it! Unfounded confidence is an actor's greatest weapon!
The commander of the Alliance can do anything if he puts his mind to it, yes? Uh, sure. I guess. Here goes nothing. Well then, your majesty, have you made your decision? All of you, Chris, awaits your word, for your actions this day could herald a bright new era for our kingdom. In fact, I understand that Duke Saldric's research into new uses for rune lenses is making great strides. I'm endlessly impressed at your ability to vomit out nonsense you don't believe in. Oh, you're a politician born and bred. Or perhaps merely a swindler. How many times must I remind you that you are here as an observer, Countess? Your Majesty. In light of the Countess's continuous interruptions, I suggest you have her removed. Your father would not have tolerated such impudence from a guest. Of that, I am certain. But... If anyone is removed here, it will be you, Lord Harlan. What? How dare you? You're up, Noah. Go get him. Lord Harlan is a traitor who has conspired to sell out Eucharist to Dukes Aldrich for his own personal gain. Traitor? Personal gain? What? Who do you think you are? The fact you cobbled together some pathetic army out of defeated troops gives you no right to speak to me so. 
Unless you come bearing proof of this outrageous claim, I suggest you take your seat! My proof is this contract sent by Duke Saldrick to Lord Harlan. It says, and I quote, Should Lord Harlan secure Eucris's surrender, he shall retain his wealth and status, and be given high standing after the dissolution of the Sheerith dynasty. It's all right here on the page. This, um, well, the handwriting does seem to match the letter I received from the Dukes. You damnable varlet! Where did you get that? No, no, you, you see here. Uh... It seems you are familiar with this document, Lord Harlan. N no, of course not. You betrayed me, Lord Harlan. Betrayed your king and your kingdom. Everything I have done was for the benefit of you, Chris. You must believe me. I... I... Cassius! Guards! Prepare the special chamber for Lord Harlan. I have a great many questions to ask him. <clears throat> you have it all wrong! I am no traitor! In fact, had your father still reigned, this need never have happened. <clears throat> but instead, we have you, Yuma. You! And you, Chris, cannot persevere with an heir so foolish and feckless. You are driving our kingdom to ruin. What choice did I have but to ally with the Empire? <clears throat> Get him out of here, now! Do you understand now, Yuma? I mean, your majesty? Now that you've seen the contract, are Duke's Aldrich's motives not exceedingly clear? The man has no intention of allowing the Sheerith dynasty to continue. Such treachery. If the Dukes was willing to do away with the royal family, what would he have done to us? <clears throat> I choose to do all in my power to help Commander Noah of the Alliance. He's a man I can count on. And I will fight at his side. Oh. Apologies, Periel. Apologies, Lord Counselors. I just... I need a little more time. There might yet be truth to what Harlan said. Oof. Well, so much for that. I knew Yuma struggled with decisions, but I had no idea he was this bad. <sighs> Still, we've done all we can for now. Lord Harlan is in custody, so I will spend the night here. Uh, the rest of you may make yourselves comfortable. Just stay out of the back chamber. Oh, come on. I bet there's rows of beds in there. You can spare one. Fine. But just the one.
Noah. Are you all by yourself? I am. They changed the guards around this time, which gives me an opportunity to slip away. It's been my chance to go on little adventures ever since I was a child. Uh, not that I've ever left the palace grounds or anything. <laughs> that would be much too scary. In fact, this right here is about the extent of my adventuring zeal. I spoke to Melrich and learned of how you and Periel snuck into Harlan's manor to secure the contract. Periel really trusts you, doesn't she? No, more than that. She relies on you. How I envy that. Doesn't she rely on you too? I mean, you're the first person she turned to when Galdia attacked. And she's still appealing to you now. She must really trust you. I would be delighted if that were the case, but is it really me she was counting on? Or did she merely turn to me because I happen to be the person on the throne? I adore Periel, the way she's always spoken her mind, even when we were children. Despite growing up in circumstances not unlike mine, she's never afraid to be herself and do what she wants. She's ever pushing forward. Well, I'm from a small village, so I can't imagine what you've been through, but you look like a fighter to me. Is that not the case? Oh, heavens no. I'm worthless. Everyone thinks so, and they're quite right. Oh, I made a few clumsy attempts when I first inherited the throne, but I was never able to rule skillfully as my father did. And now, at the time of my country's greatest crisis, I still can't make up my mind. Instead of deciding, I fixate on all the tragedy my decisions might cause and simply freeze. Harlan had the right of it. I'm a feckless fool of a king. Who would ever follow a ruler like me? I just... True, you aren't a bad king at all, your majesty. What? Absolutely and completely wrong about yourself, and you mistake your kindness for weakness. I know how hard you work at being king. I know better than anyone, so please don't speak ill of yourself. It's everyone else's loss if they don't understand what a wonderful ruler you are. Thank you, Yulin. Never live up to my father.
There's wisdom in her words, your majesty. People have you wrong. Indeed, you have yourself wrong. Now, I grant you may not currently be ruling with the skill and finesse of your father. But you're holding yourself up to a monarch with years of experience already behind him. Surely you can see how superficial it is to compare that man to a king who has taken but the first steps of his reign. A fledgling knight is no match for a hardened veteran. And yet, the youngster possesses something the veteran does not. future. And I would not have you discard yours so lightly, my king. Oh, Melrich. You Lynn? Forgive me, Your Majesty. Uh, I was dreadfully out of line to speak to you like that. I will accept any punishment you see fit. Then your punishment is to tell me the truth. Do you really believe I can become a good king? I do. You will be a, a kind king, and a great one, I I'm sure of it. Thank you. I will, or at least I shall try to. I cannot express what an honor it is to fight alongside a man of your esteem, General Goldwyn. Mm -hmm. If I may, General, I hear we'll be entering Eucharist territory soon. When do you anticipate being able to report our victory to Dukes Aldric? I must contemplate how best to compose the message. It is folly to contrive victories from unfought battles. A warrior must approach every enemy with equal sincerity. But who could Eucharis field who has any hope of victory against you? General Cassius is a steady hand who commands the love of his men, and I hear the kingdom is home to another formidable mind as well. And also... Yes? I take to the battlefield for our Emperor. Despite the great pains Aldric went through to convince His Excellency of this campaign's merit, I do not fight for the Dukes. Oh, good morning, all. I take it you spent the night here? Guys, you are not gonna believe this, Periel! Loose lips, darling. Come, Noah. We're leaving.
Announcing His Majesty, King Yuma. Have you reached a decision, sire? If you require a messenger to go to Duke's Aldrich, I am yours to command. This is it. What's it going to be? I come bearing urgent news. Your Majesty, it seems an Imperial Expeditionary Force has been sighted. It is under the command of General Goldwyn, and outnumbers our army two to one. Double our numbers, and General Goldwyn. The man is said to be invincible. Uh. Your Majesty! I have always been a worthless man, Periel. I am incapable of making decisions and paralyzed with fear of how others might view me. I have ever been a coward. I acknowledge this. General Cassius? Yes, my king. Melrich? Your Majesty. For a period of two weeks, beginning now, I entrust to the two of you the entirety of my royal authority. You are to make every decision for I have no doubt you are more capable of selecting the right choices than I. Call it a coward's conviction if it please you. Regardless, it is the best decision I can muster. What folly is this? Has His Majesty taken leave of his senses? Royal authority to a mere general and a lecturer at the studium? Say the word, your majesty, and we lords are ready to lead in your stead. The both of you must refuse this. It will plunge the kingdom into chaos. from your fool of a king yet all the more reason to do it pitiful I may be but I beg of you to save our kingdom But... Are you quite certain? After all, what's to stop the General and myself from eliminating you should we come to enjoy this little taste of power? If that is your choice, then so be it. Were you to do such a thing, I believe it would be for the sake of the kingdom. Your Majesty. Long have I sworn my service and loyalty to House Sheerith, your majesty. But now, I pledge it anew to you, Yuma Sheerith, the man before whom I now take the knee. I shall answer the trust you have placed in me with all of my heart and ability.
I do not know if my talents are worthy of the faith you place in them, Your Majesty. In fact, it speaks to their inadequacy that I have so clearly misjudged you. And for that, I must atone. Whatever shreds of wit and talent I still possess, I swear to you. As if any of this gives us a chance against the Empire! Your Majesty, it's not too late. We can still draft a letter of intent to Jukes Eldrick and... General Cassius. Any hope of successfully defending this kingdom will require the full efforts of her people and the full unity of her spirit. The army will be mustered, and the realm's efforts devoted entirely to its defense. Any who choose to publicly object to His Majesty's wishes will be executed on the spot. certain such jubilant optimism is appropriate. As General Cassius noted, it will require all the strength you, Chris, can muster to have even a chance of victory. And we'll be right beside you. Agreed. This is everything we've been striving for. Then allow me to formally request the support of the Alliance. You shall have it and more. We'll return to the inn and have Janequist beat the muster drums. I shall contact Emir and have him commence preparations straight away, milady. Send me. I'll get your message there safe. Shall I set this in motion, Commander? Maybe hold on a second? Understood. I shall be here when you are ready. <laughs> 